Hi guys, it's April here with Math and Movement. I wanted to hop on today to show you a great skip counting activity that you can do with your kids easily with just some sidewalk chalk and your kids. So my son is in second grade and we are going to work on skip counting by fours with him today. So what I've done first is I have drawn 10 boxes on my front walk and he's going to fill in the multiples of four for me. So Finn here wrote out all the multiples of four and now he's gonna hop them out. We have zero to the 10th multiple of four, which is 40. All right, Finn, go ahead and skip count by fours. Eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 33, 40. Very good. Now we chose four because Finn's in second grade and that's kind of where he's at right now, learning to skip count. He can do twos and threes and fives. So four is the next easy one to work on. Um, you can choose any multiple depending on the age of your kiddo. You can choose those sixes, those tricky sevens, or even those even trickier eights. Um, we will get there, but today we're just going to focus on the fours. So if I ask Finn to hop out three groups of four, Finn, can you show me how many jumps should you take? Three. Three groups of four. One, two, two three. three. What is three, three groups of four? Three times four is twelve. Oh, he's jumping ahead of me. Three times four is? Twelve. Very good. Go back to start, please. Can you now, since you already know what multiplication is, can you hop out four times six? Right, so one, two, three, four, five, six. What is four times six? Four times six is 24. Now I have a question. Is that the same as six times four? Yes. You're right. Very you good. Just switch, you just switch it around. Switch the two factors around. That's right. To get the product. It doesn't matter which way you multiply them, does it? Mm -hmm. Very good. Now again, you can change any um, of the multiples here to fit whatever your kiddos need. It's a great way to get them outside, get them practicing math, and hopefully enjoying some nice weather. So now that Finn has practiced skip counting by fours on our sidewalk chart, he is going to turn it into some real live math practice. And I'm going to use that using our Hop to Success book, um, which is a third grade test prep book that can help third graders prepare for those tricky state tests that come up in the spring. Um, and it goes through all of your, your math standards that you go out throughout the year and a handful of problems for each just to help the kids prepare what they might be seeing on the state test and how the wording might be. So the one I'm going to do with Finn has to do with dividing 32 into equal groups of four. So Mark has to buy new socks. He has $32 to spend on socks. Each pair costs $4 how many pairs can Mark afford? So let's go back to our sidewalk chart and see what Finn can do. So Finn, we have $32 and we need to know how many equal groups of four is in that $32. Okay. How do you think we could do that? We could start from zero and count how much it goes to 30. Yes, you can count how long, how many hops it takes to go to 32, or you can start at 32 and how many hops it comes down to zero. Okay, which way would you like to try? I would like to go zero to 32. Okay, so hop it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. So if I have $32 and each sock costs $4, how many pairs could I buy? Eight. Eight pairs of socks with $32. That's skip counting by fours. Very good.